feeding time. Feed me more. Yo, welcome to feeding time. I am the big guy Ryback, and today, today we're doing. I got, I got a lot to do today, but I, I figured, you know, the ever since I switched over to more of a vegetarian diet. There's all different words, too, for that. Like, vegans full-blown, like you don't do eggs, milk, cheese. Vegetarians, where you essentially don't eat um, animal meat, chicken, fish. And then there's, like, people that eat fish or pescatarians, I think. There's like, labels for everything. Very, just, everything's labeled. And I just, I was like, I just don't want to eat animal meat for a while. And you know, here I am. I'm a, I guess I'm a vegetarian because I have to classify myself as something. So that if I eat cheese... Or something on here, and then the, 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 the vegan patrol comes, and you're not a fucking vegan. And, and then you got the people that eat the the meat, and you're a fucking pussy. And everybody just judgmental as fuck. Holy hell! So today, guys, I figured I'm gonna eat a healthy meal. Then I'm gonna I, I got I got to do another video later, which I'm really excited. I'm actually gonna give you guys. I don't know when this is gonna come out. I, I don't want to ruin it. I don't know, it might be out already. It's gonna be, I'm eating a giant, the humongous. Okay, I'll show you. I can't hold it in. I get to eat this later. Almost 4,000 calories. Look at the size of it. That's what she said. Unbelievable. I got so much. But anyways, today guys, I'm gonna be doing Barilla protein pasta spaghetti here. And I use that, I actually use an organic, uh, Simple Truth organic marinara pasta sauce here. Okay, and uh, here it is. I don't know about you guys. I use. Do you guys use a lot of the same? Like I use the same bowls all the time. I use a lot of the. I got all my shaker. I got a ton of shaker cups because I'm a supplement company. I'm an asshole with that. Best part of having a supplement company is free supplements. But now I don't have any. I got. I got to order the stuff like everybody else now uh, because everything's now fulfilled and uh, which all that went smoothly and everything. But luckily, I can create a free 100% discount code for myself. <laughs> ah. All right. I'm going to dive in here. We got the people that just want me to shut the hell up and eat. We got the people that don't give a shit if I eat. Don't want to see me eat. Because then there's the people that don't understand that I'm doing a show. And that when I eat, I can't always chew my food with my mouth closed. And let me just cl clarify that for a few of you. If I was on a date and there was a beautiful, lovely woman, and I have an idea of who that would be, and I was eating across and, and say there was a nice family function and some important people at the table, I would, I would eat and I'll show you how I would eat. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> you look fantastic tonight, Wendy. Yes, your daughter, she's one of a kind. Ah, Frank, <laughs> you're a real riot. Mm. 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 <laughs> ah, you guys, I can't thank you guys enough for, for being here. Thank you. That's how I would conduct myself, guys. Maybe not quite as fake as that, because it's just not in my blood, but I had to prove a point. That would I would chew a certain way. But I'm here on my own show, guys. You got to know your audience. You guys are judgmental as fuck anyways. So if I was eating like that, I would have people who called me a little bitch and all that. So I just eat like I'm not on camera. And then if I have to talk, I talk. Because we're on a time constraint here. If I got to swallow all my food, and then before I speak, guy like me who loves to hear himself talk, I'll never be able to hear myself talk. Mm. So I sometimes talk as I'm eating. You should go fuck yourself. <laughs> this is delicious. This is a way, guys. I usually will eat this in the afternoon, not every afternoon, but it's because uh, I do my carbs now because I cut up my carbs, my morning meal and my afternoon meal. It's a great way though. If you're a fat ass and you eat a lot of pasta, switch it out with protein pasta. It actually is much more filling too because it has very high protein content. They use chickpeas and uh, they use pea protein, uh, lentil flour, uh, pea protein, and chickpea flour for the for the protein source in this. And it has 
per serving, 10 grams of protein per serving. So, and I believe there's seven servings in this whole box. And I do, typically I do about three servings, sometimes three and a half, <clears throat> half a box at a time. So, mm -hmm. I got a big workout today. So good. I was telling you guys, I use a lot of the same bowls. I could have a cover. I just, I got a ton of different dishes here. This is like my favorite bowl. It's my favorite bowl to eat out of. It's like the perfect size. And I do have my favorite glass bowl as well. That's another smaller size. But this is usually when you're a 300 pound Neanderthal, like the regular human dishes, just like I got to use like a salad bowl. I could have $10 billion, I would be eating out of this. It's just, I wouldn't, eh, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'd fucking get like gold or something on it just to be a dickhead. Maybe, the, I'd maybe lace it in diamonds. Piss some people off on my YouTube videos. Show them just how good I'm doing. Or maybe I would just keep it like this. Mm. Grape. Pumpplex City, our pump formula, our cherry. We're getting ready. We're putting that in. They nailed the cherry flavor. I love this. This is great. I want it to be a little more grapey, though. And uh, so they're they're redoing the grape just to give it a little stronger grape flavor for me. And then I'll release that. So shit just keeps growing. We keep spending more and more on marketing. It's... Very happy. It's a lot of work, but it's it's very, very happy for three years. Hearing people tell you you're a loser, you're a failure, not understanding what you're doing, what's going on. And you just laugh and you just keep doing. You go one day at a time. You know the goal. You know what your plan is. And you keep working. And those people that criticize you eventually start to admire you. Because they keep seeing you. And they keep seeing you succeed and you keep growing. And the key is for you not to focus on that and to keep doing what you're doing. It's funny how that all works, huh? Ah, look at this. I'm sure that a lot of people told The Rock that he probably shouldn't get into acting after wrestling and... He was ridic ridiculous, crazy for leaving wrestling for acting. And the guy has like 170 something million Instagram followers. He's on a whole other level. He's like the Hansel of Zoolander right now. So hot. So hot. Ah. Me and The Rock. That'd be a good one. Big guy can hang. You guys, some of you guys think big guy. You know, pretty witty motherfucker myself. Mm. This is so good. Mm. I'm gonna just get a putting trying to put this away. I got an appearance coming up. I'm doing a Tyrus. Formerly Brodus Clay in WWE, his uh, show, Enough Said, they're coming out to Vegas. They asked me to be on. I'm very privileged. And, of course, I love Brodus. I've always gotten along with him really well. Tyrus, sorry. And uh, so we're going to be doing that. I believe we're filming that towards the end of the month. Mm. He likes to let me know that he's bigger than me whenever he's around me. Because he was born taller and with a bigger bone structure and more mass on his body. I can't argue with him. He's a bigger... I'm the big guy. As advertised, he's just a bigger guy. But if I don't know if he has that trademarked or not, so technically it doesn't count. Hmm. Ah. Got my coffee here as well. I do my wake up at a minute energy first thing in the morning, and then I do a coffee in the afternoon. 
That's my, my go-to. I love black coffee. Just straight up black coffee. Go to Starbucks, so tell them two ice cubes. You gotta be very specific with people because if you're not, I used to tell them like light ice. When you tell them light ice, sometimes they would just give me ice cold. They, they would give me hot coffee. It wasn't an iced coffee, but they put so much damn ice in it, they turned it into iced coffee. And then like I drive away and I'm like, I like my coffee hot. I just don't want it so hot that it burns my lips off. I want to be able to take a little sip and take my time and while it's still hot, but it's like, I figured though, this is a lesson in life. You got to be specific. Do you, you men and women out there that don't fucking communicate with each other, you miserable husband and wives or boyfriend and girlfriend, you got to be very like, tell them exactly. I go to that motherfucking Starbucks now. I don't care which one I go to. One large, and I don't do venti. I don't order in their language. I order in my Neanderthal language. I know large. I'm not saying the word venti. I use fucking large. I want one large black coffee. Two ice cubes every time. Two ice cubes. You know why? It may not, it may not, it may not always be exactly as cool as I need it to be, but I know I'm going to get hot coffee still. And there's no chance, there's, I can't leave it up to chance. In a rare occasion, they'd get it right if I just say light ice. Other times, more often than not, I figured, I go, you know what, what a lesson this was to teach me. You got to be specific with people. You got to tell them exactly what you want. You can't assume they know what you're thinking. Because we're all dumb as shit. We're going to get that shit wrong all the time. And let's be honest. The guys and girls at the Starbucks window, they don't give a fuck. I mean, I'm sure some of them do. And I'm sure a lot of them don't. Mm. Speaking of which, they started, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, it's been happening, it's happened a lot at Starbucks with me, but it's happened at other places. They started asking me, because I'll use, I have cash on me sometimes, I'll use cash for that kind of stuff. I use my card too, but if I have cash, I like using cash. They started asking me, like, and they do it, like, if I want my change back. I've had it up upwards of where I've had change 11, 12, something back due on a 20. And, and one time it was 15 something actually. Because I got just a coffee. So it was, I take it back. It was 17. Because coffee is 287. I gave them a 20. And they asked me if I wanted my change. And uh, that particular location knew who I was. So I don't know if they just figured that like, hey, I like spending $20 for a cu cup of coffee. And like I, at that kind of living, like, oh, my money will last a long time. Or or what. But it, it's happened on, on much smaller amounts. And, and uh I don't know if that's a way either employees are going out of their way to try to get tip money and making people feel uncomfortable. Like I'll say, yes, I want my change. It could be two cents. I say, yes, Like you're not, no, don't, don't ever. I don't like that. And uh, so don't let them, if you guys, if that happens to you guys, let me know in the comments because it's been happening more and more. And if it's a business thing and the businesses are doing that to up their revenue, that's fucked up because what it does is it puts people they do this, and if and again, they, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's not that, but the employees are doing it to put you on the spot to make you uncomfortable, much like asking to donate to a cause where the people fall in line with you, and they love that, and, and most oftentimes, we don't write that off for ourselves, the store does, and it's a gimmick, and don't get me, and it's like, <sighs> frustrating, I don't like it. I don't like things that make people try to feel uncomfortable. I'll do it all the time. I'll even look at make eye contact and smile at everyone. No, thank you. I donate a lot on my own already. Just don't think it's, 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 uh, and it's not the person working there. It's not their fault. It's, a, it's the store. It's screwed up. But they use human psychology of making people feel uncomfortable in, in public situations. Because most people will settle and give it up for the fear of being judged and criticized by others in line. And then those same people, they get put in the same spot and they do the same thing. Until you get a guy like me that will come along that will smile right into your face and say, no thank you. Done. All right, guys. There we go. By the way, phones, they, they, I found out the phone cameras make us look seven years older, they said. 
And uh, because I always was wondering, then I'd look in the mirror and be like, Jesus, I look fucking great. And then you look in your, kind of being sarcastic, not really. But uh, and then you go to take a selfie or something, and you're like, Jesus, jump back. So I found that out. And I think the reason why they do that is because I, I remember those little Fuji cameras, little Kodak cameras. That shit wasn't happening on those. If they had that shit, they had that technology fucking mastered in the, the fucking 90s. Yeah. Why are we doing that? It's to probably sell all these apps with the filters and make sure we use those apps with the filters and stay on the phones. And uh, what, the, what the fuck's going on? Uh, excuse me. Anyways, guys. That was the Brilla Protein Pasta here. Check it out. It's a way to eat healthier. And uh, it's great for two being on a vegetarian diet and uh, allowing me to get my protein still and to stay fucking jacked. And uh, yeah, and stay on the diet. So anyways, guys, that's it for feeding time, bitches. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Check out my podcast, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback. All podcast platforms, iTunes reviews, greatly appreciated. Feed me more nutrition, feedmemore.com and Amazon. Guys, and uh, thank you very much. Let's have a great one. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel. And for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10. Click here. For my podcast, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms, click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.